Chainsaw Monument. It's been an extremely hot day, and even now, in the evening, the sun is strong enough to make that bit of woodland look very enticing. Something interesting about this woodland. When you approach from this direction, you're entering Dawson's plantation. But when you exit at the other end, you're leaving Penshaw Wood. Presumably there's a demarcation point somewhere in the middle, but you can't see the join. Penshaw Monument. Everyone local knows it. Fewer realize that its official title is the Earl of Durham's Monument. And even fewer know who the Earl being commemorated actually was. John Lambton, 1st Earl of Durham, a politician with a reputation for radicalism and being in favor of electoral reform. Which I suppose was pretty radical in the early 19th century. We could do with a bit of that nowadays. He was also a high-ranking Freemason, Deputy Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of England no less. When he died in 1840, the Masons wanted to perform a Masonic ceremony at the funeral, but his family put their collective foot down, and it didn't happen. Coming to the end of the wood, There, see? We entered Dawson's plantation and exited Penshaw Wood. There was also Masonic involvement in the construction of the monument. The foundation stone was laid on the 28th of August 1844 by the Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of England. The Grand Treasurer placed a file containing Victorian coins into a cavity in the foundation stone which was then covered with a brass plate bearing an inscription that dedicated the monument to the Earl of Durham. The Grand Master then spread mortar on a stone with a silver trowel, specially engraved for the occasion. A second stone was then lowered on top of it as the band plate ruled Britannia, and the Grand Master used a plummet, level and square to adjust the upper stone before strewing it with corn, wine and oil. All this was watched by a crowd estimated to be between 15,000 and 30,000 strong. Despite all this Masonic imagery, there don't seem to be any interesting conspiracy theories connected to the monument. No one, so far as I know, has ever claimed that the Holy Grail is buried under it. Or anything. Anyway, here we are.
Somewhere around here there was once a couple of stones, known as the Gossip Stones. They were supposed to commemorate two godparents coming back from a christening, who started fighting and killed each other. Whether they were natural boulders or man-made standing stones is unclear, but were on the edge of an important prehistoric landscape, just down the road around Hastings Hill, so they could have been related to that. Their location also seems to be a bit of a mystery. But old maps show a stone mark next to the Chester Road, close to the monument. Could this have been one of them? The road has been realigned at some point, and the stone's location would now be in the air over the carriageway. However, the hedgerow shown adjacent to the stone still exists, which says something about the durability of hedges in the landscape. So we can get an approximate position. If, of course, it actually was one of the gossip stones. Another story, about Penshaw Hill this time, is that what appear to be earthen ramparts indicate that it was once a hill fort. I suspect not. Not least because all the so-called ramparts are on the steepest part of the hill. While the other side, where the ground slopes away more gently, shows no sign of defenses. It'd be like having a strong front door, protected by state-of-the-art technology. While at the same time having a flimsy plywood back door, protected only by a cheap padlock. But I might be wrong about that. However, following one of these ramparts, we see what it probably really was. A trackway serving a quarry. Evening draws on. And the monument lights up. I've stayed on after sunset, because tonight there is a supermoon. A supermoon is when a full moon coincides with it being at its closest point to the Earth, appearing larger than usual. This one is called the Sturgeon Supermoon. Something to do with Native American beliefs I think. Quite a few moon watchers here tonight. So we'll end the video here, watching the moon rise. Hope you enjoy the trip.